Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about layer mask. I'm gonna try to cover exactly what layer masks are, how they work and why you want to use them. If you know the difference between black and white and you know how to use the brush tool then it's gonna then it's gonna be easy to understand. So what is layer mask? A layer mask allows you to control the transparency of the layer. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. You might be thinking, I can use the opacity option to control the transparency. Well, yeah, you can, but the difference is that the opacity option changes the transparency for the entire layer. Let's try that. So I'm going to be using this image and this other image. So I'm going to drag this to this image and to make it uh, first, I'm going to transform it. And to make this image um, blend with this other image, I'm going to make this black and white. So now that we have both image black and white, I'm going to try to use the opacity option to control the transparency of the image. So let's try that. So we have 100 on the opacity. So let's try to bring this to 50%. But um, let's, like I said, the opacity options controls the opacity or the transparency of the entire layer. But let's say we want this lower part 50%. So let's lower the opacity to 50%. Well, um, we see a problem right here because the entire layer is 50%. So the opacity option doesn't work like we want it to work. Okay, so you might be saying, well, I can use the eraser tool to erase that lower part okay let's do that with the eraser tool so let's use the eraser tool i'm gonna select this layer and i'm gonna erase the parts that we don't we, we don't need so i'm gonna lower the opacity to see what parts i don't need okay i'm gonna erase all these areas I'm I'm erasing these areas because I want the person in the picture to be visible and the rock. So basically the moon ma background or layer is gonna be our sky. So yeah. Okay. So so far the eraser tool is working good so we're taking our time to make it look good and don't do a mess okay so we think we're done and we put the opacity to 100 okay so we got that so far so let's say we okay this is just an example don't don't say uh, I'm I'm not gonna do that work or my image is gonna be better than that. No, I don't think that. This is just an example. So let's see. We we have done everything good and we wanna save our work. So let's go save file, save as, save. And also we wanna save this so we can have our image on JPEG, JPG or whatever format you want so I'm gonna save it as JPEG save and we're going to close Photoshop so once we're done we go back to the to the image we open the image and we just take a look to see how it looks 
then we notice something that we don't like like right here we we raise too much and we see this and right here we left this part of the moon so we so yeah so uh, we don't like what we, what we did but we save this image into photoshop document so okay so you may say okay i'm gonna open my document and i'm gonna bring back what we raised and i'm and i'm gonna erase what we didn't okay let's do that so we have our image we have we um our two layers but uh how are we going to bring back this area or this um how let's go to the history no history so no let's go what is this history brush to um let's see if this works nope it doesn't so the eraser tool does a good job but if we do something like this there's no way to bring back or restore what we have erased so the only way to do this or to bring back this is to do it again the eraser tool does a good job but you cannot bring back what you already raised so that's why the layer mask is for okay let's desaturate that image let's bring this image into the into this image now i'm gonna show you how to use layer mask first of all you have to click this icon right here to bring the layer mask thumbnail so click here and you have a layer mask this thumbnail right here is what controls the transparency of this image or, or this layer right here so white means visible black means not visible so if you fill this layer with black it's not gonna be visible you see so this is black it hides all this layer if you put that in white it make it visible so let's try to do to erase the lower part and the person like we did with the eraser tool so let's uh bring the opacity to 27 30 percent to see through the layer and be able to see the person so let's click the brush tool with the soft brush and and let's start painting with black what we want to erase because painting with black is the same as erasing but we're not erasing it we're just hiding it so let's paint this area with black okay that's what we got so far let's say we're happy with that so let's save this image save as so okay we check the image we see something wrong okay we're gonna open our photoshop document to restore something we, we didn't like okay let's say right here i don't like this 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 part so let's bring this a little bit more so we still have our layer mask so we're able to paint in black or paint in white so let's bring back this so now we're gonna choose our brush and we're gonna choose white color so we have our white color and we're gonna paint what we need to bring back so let's paint this area and like you see we're we're bringing back some areas that we have erased and 
there you go just like that it's that simple that easy and that's why that's why layer masks are very useful and if you were scared to use layer mask because you thought it was something for professionals or something for advanced photoshop users there's nothing to be scared of because layer mask is for beginners intermediate or advanced people so like you see you can bring back or restore the image and it's easy so yeah like you see we can restore with the brush tool with the layer mask so yeah so that that'd be all for today so i hope you like this tip and start using the layer mask don't be scared it's easy easy for this and it's easy for other stuffs if you haven't checked my tutorials i'm always using layer mask because it's easy i hope you have an idea on how to use them and thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial bye bye